let's hear from somebody who knows how to create intermodal transportation connectivity as a starting point for our conversation tonight. I know, is Robin ready to? She's, I think she's ready. Yeah. Great, please. Robin, um, if you like, we can read your bio, but they've got it hand in front of them, including a great picture of you. So I think we just ought to let you take off and tell us what you think, Robin. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, so my name is Robin O'Hara, and uh, I'm an executive officer at Metro in the regional TAP Transit Smart Card Program. Uh, thanks a lot for inviting me to participate tonight, and I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person, but uh, I'm here in spirit and in PowerPoint, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be able to glean a few things from what we're doing, and we're happy to share any of our information with our, our sister cities, especially in California. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about how TAP is building an innovative hybrid system that in integrates um, kind of a, a word that's been coined lately called mobility as a service or, or MOS, and it delivers an infinite variety of new options for our customers. So first, a little bit about TAP. We're a contactless chip-based smart card system. Um, we are, operate across all of LA County. Now, this is a pretty giant county, and in fact, LA County is larger than 42 US states in population. So it's, it's a pretty massive system. Um, we have uh, 26 TAP agencies, uh, and that includes about 3,800 regional buses, 124 rail stations, and we're growing exponentially because um, we, we have a tax measure that has allowed us uh, to build pretty much in perpetuity. Um, we have a, an award-winning paratransit program um, you can see we're, we're pretty big. We do a lot of transactions, 29 million regional transactions a month. We have 750 different fare products on our fare table. Uh, we just, we have a huge volume. Um, and uh, all, of, all of this on our TAP um, transit system. So right now, what we're building is this account-based system. Now, everybody talks about these account-based systems. Um, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, um, Portland, a ton of Boston, they're all spending literally half a billion in, uh, dollars and up to build these new systems that, um, that are, are all account based that are kept in the cloud. And um, what, what we wanted to do is build onto our existing transit system and not have to spend billions of dollars. And so um, we, didn't, we, we didn't want to have to do what everyone else is do, doing and start from scratch when we have a, an actual system that's, that's working pretty well for us. So our TAP card system um, is going to stay the way it is, but what we, what we built on top of that is a, is a layer in Salesforce. Now, this is a one-stop shop for payment and program signup. Uh, so, so what we built um, means that we can connect with any number of programs such as bike share or the microtransits of the world, our, our fair subsidy programs, parking, um, electric vehicle car sharing, um, ride hailing like Lyft and Uber. We have the ability to connect to any of those uh, account-based services now um, through this layer that we built on top of our existing legacy tap card system. So um, what, what's great about this is that um, we don't necessarily have to start from scratch. We, we um, leverage our existing system to continue to um, grow and expand. So what we did just about six months ago is we launched um, very quietly uh, with our first um, bike share account. Um, we launched at the National Asso Association of City Transit Officials. So if any of you guys were there for that uh, conference, we launched our, our first um, program there. So um, you can now pay for bike share with your TAP account. And we are um, literally talking to uh, about 20 other programs to, to um, be able to connect. So we are very excited about um, the future of, of what, we, what we've built. So let me tell you a little bit about how we build it, built it. So we, we have a Cubic Built, um, that's the company of the, um, the, that built our existing legacy transit system. Um, it, 
it's a play it's a, a system where you tap your tap card and you enter through gates or you you tap it on the fare box and enter buses and um, as I said, we built um, a, a layer on top of this system that we call Tap Force. It's built in Salesforce. And that layer allows us, um, through software connections that we call APIs, to talk, talk to our transit system. It allows us to use a Tap wallet um, to virtually then connect with the likes of BikeShare. Um, again, we can connect with any account-based system. We can do toll lanes. We can do electric vehicle car sharing. We can do fare subsidy programs. We can do parking and really any, any amount of other, other types of uh, ticketing. So um, in 2028, LA will have the Olympics. And so we plan on having uh, ticketing available through our tap card for those, uh, those events as well. So it's a, a pretty cool layer that is extremely powerful and versatile. And then um, as we move along, we will be able to tie it all together with our new app that will come out this fall. And the, the app just makes it all the more seamless because you will be able to tap with your phone, just like they're going to be able to do that, like they do right now in Portland. We'll have that same capability to be able to tap with our phones and in that same app, purchase bike shares, toll lanes, electric vehicle car sharing, and much more. Another one of the benefits that we have is uh, cash loading. Um, one of the things that mobile, mobility as a service um, uh, kind of stresses um, is, is the ability to offer equity. Um, that means that we have a lot of customers that ride our transit system that don't necessarily have bank accounts, but that still want to be able to use um, the TAP uh, wallet. In the past, uh, how, do you, how do you add money to a, how do you add cash to a, an account um, if you don't have, um, if, it's, if it's in the cloud? Um, now we, through, through what we built, we have cash loading available to our unbanked. Um, and we have done that through a, um, a company called Pay Near Me. So what, uh, what we did is we added a bunch of different um, new payment choices. Um, we, uh, we still have our debit and credit um, uh, payment available, but the Pay Near Me access is great because you can download a barcode, take it into a CVS or a 7-Eleven, pay the cashier and that immediately goes into your tap wallet and you can use it for to push funds to your transit card or you can um, pay for any of the account-based services that will be attached. PayPal has also been a super great choice and, and very popular with our customers. So just adding those account loading choices is super important. Um, one of the other things that we built in the system is a rewards system that will let the customer choose. So um, we base it on the Starbucks model. Um, so if you go to Starbucks, if you're a Starbucks lo lover like I am, you may go into Starbucks when you have uh, enough rewards and you are not forced to, um, you're not forced into a black coffee. They don't just say, hey, here's your reward, it's a black coffee. Rather, you can choose from the menu. And so what we want to do is offer rewards across programs so that the customer can collect rewards and maybe try a new mode, maybe try bike share, um, maybe try an electric vehicle, or maybe try um, a, a scooter sharing or other types of uh, account-based services. One of the big um, things that, that um, this system can do for us is um, have the ability to incentivize our customer behavior. And um, it allows us to quickly be able to configure discounts that can incentivize our customers to do whatever we would um, like to push them into. So for example, if we have a breakdown um, on one of our trains, we can quickly offer discounts on bike share or, or on, um, on uh, transit passes. Um, we can respond to uh, quickly to events um, either entertainment events, sports events, by offering discounts that are really configurable in about um, 15 or, or 20 minutes and then easily uh, removable as well. So the, the system allows us to be super nimble, which is great. One of the other benefits that we have is um, the ability to share discounts across programs. 
So, for example, if you're a student or a senior, you're automatically eligible for programs that have enabled those discounts. And this really amounts to almost personalized price, pricing for um, our products, depending upon your program registration level. So no longer do you have to have multiple signups for every program's discounts. Because we have these, these discount groups set up, programs can take advantage of the already set up options or, or uh, develop their own. And these discounts can be shared across programs. And that's one of the reasons that we have gotten so many um, um, requests to join TAP Force so far, so far uh, because of this ability to um, have these discounts already set up that they can choose to um, offer uh, lower trayers for their, for their own program. And then they just participate in the discount group that's already set up. So that basically finishes my, um, uh, that's, that's the super fast TAP 101. And I'm happy to, I, I'm, I think you're trying to push the questions to the end, but I'm not sure I can stay. So um, I'm not sure if you want me to answer a couple questions now, or if you would like me to, um, it, I, I'm also happy to respond to questions by email or, or text. So happy to provide that information. Thank you so much, Robin. And you can all see why um, she is a summa cum laude graduate of the University of Pittsburgh and was valedictorian of her master's class at the Mineta Institute of Transportation. That's named after Norm Mineta, by the way, who man I got to know <laughs> when I was a younger individual. And um, her credentials speak legions about her commitment to the customer experience. So remember, her title is head of customer experience for the TAP program. And what we're hoping that you'll get from this is that we can create customer experience in Santa Barbara as well. Uh, we certainly can. Robin, thank you so much. And we will forward any questions that come to us by email. We will forward them to you. And uh, she will be more than delighted to answer any of your questions. Thank you, Robin. Thank you very much.